So I just got back from the shop where the Cobra is at. As you can see, the Cobra is not here. So you're probably confused with why is the video titled as it is, but the car isn't here. There is a big long story to tell about why um, everything that went on the past couple weeks. Last summer, those of you that have been here on the channel for a little while know that the car was gone 170 days right after Memorial Day to just after Labor Day. The car was gone all last summer because of issues and problems that came up and waiting for a dyno tune um, spot to open up once the work was finished and all the problems were resolved. I ran into more problems this time, but uh, this time around the car was only gone for 48 days total. So it's a much uh, better situation overall. Also, those of you that follow some of my posts that I do on the community page on YouTube, I bought some Falcon tires a little while ago. These are not the Falcon tires. Um, I have a whole story about uh, why I ended up switching to these and what these are, if you can't tell already. But what I'm going to do is um, tell you the whole story about what happened with the Cobra and the delays for this time. And I'm going to pick this up down at the shop when I go and actually pick the car up. It's kind of um, it's an interesting story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up down at the shop. I'm picking the car up later today at the time of filming this video. And I'm going to go over everything that happened. And a lot of it, what comes down to is if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. And I know everyone always wants to put blame on performance shops or uh, dyno uh, places for problems with their cars. This has nothing to do with that. This has entirely different aspect to what got screwed up and why. Some of it was my fault and I will get into that as well. But we're going to pick this video up down at the, um, the shop where the car is when I'm picking it up and I'll explain these tires a little bit as well. Maybe I'll do a separate video on it because tires are really really hard to get right now. But um, we're going to pick the video up down there and I did see the car. Um, I'll put a picture up of it right um, in the corner of the video. This is taken through the shop window on the garage door. Even through there, the paint correction looks freaking amazing. So I cannot wait to see this car in person. And I'll try and get as much video of it as I can when I'm down there. I plan on picking it up later this afternoon, so there should be plenty of daylight. So through the magic of time travel and video editing, we will pick this up down at the shop. Well, the Cobra is officially back for the summer. I have it back. The majority of everything is done. I have the uh, gauge pod that still needs to be done. Uh, they're looking for a relay to hook into the gauges so there's no issues with burning the gauges out or anything like that. That's to be done in a couple weeks so not a big deal though. I mean the more important stuff for now is done. Uh, the 26 spline input shaft is in, the RTX clutch is in, and it has the all new suspension in the car right now. So as always, this car fights me all the time. I don't get it. I bring it in for mods and every time there's just stupid things that come up that happen. And this time was no exception. Granted, like I said earlier, it wasn't like last year's kind of problems where it was gone for a really long time. This was much more manageable. But I still don't get it. I mean, I gave you tons of power, I buy you nice expensive stuff, and you still fight me all the time. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's out of its system now, and it will start being a little bit better, but I hope so, because I hope the next round of mods that come, it goes a little bit better with no issues, but that's the thing with building a project car, there's always going to be stuff that comes up, and that's just how it goes a lot of the time. But specifically, as far as what happened with me this time and this, is everything was pretty much all done on the car. And the only thing left to do was to hook up the clutch cable. For whatever reason, the o this has a brand new, or did have a brand new OEM clutch cable in it last fall. And with the RTX clutch, it just didn't have enough adjustment in it to fully disengage the clutch with your foot off the pedal. So that was a major problem. And this was found out on like a Friday. 
and I was supposed to pick the car up um, within the next day or so because I had a car show Saturday and a car show on a Sunday and I wanted the car back for those. But as of Friday, it was found out that the current OEM cable wouldn't work. So the solution to that was uh, we or I decided to overnight a clutch cable but it was ordered too late in the day for overnight to work so I didn't get it on Saturday and actually the order wasn't even processed until Monday. I ended up canceling that order because the overnight charges were horrendous so I ended up ordering another uh, adjustable cable which gives it more length so it would actually reach and that cable came in and brings us up to where we are today. That was the last delay. Uh, the delay before that was uh, when they were sh doing the shims for the 26 line input shaft, there were not quite enough shims. Um, it was missing one shim to be properly shimmed out. So that required getting another shim and more stuff to be done for that. So that was like another delay too. But compared to last year, I mean, it was only 48 days. So overall, I guess it's not terrible, but still not ideal. Now the car is going back to the shop in two weeks. I ordered a set of Steeda X2 ball joints. This car should have always had it, but for some reason it didn't because the car has always been lowered since before I bought it. But it's had the stock ball joints in it. So I'm gonna remedy that issue just because my ball joints are trash on the front. They need to come out. So I might as well do the uh, X2 ones instead of replacing them with stock ones because the car is lowered. So it does require uh, ball joint like the X2 Steeda ball joints to everything for everything to work correctly and be happy. So at the same time, when we do the, I'm just going to take it down to the shop for the day. We're going to do the ball joints. We're going to finish off the gauges, and they'll pretty much be it. The car will be all set for the summer. I'll have the clutch broken in by that time. So I'll try and schedule a dyno tune, not a tune, but I'm a dyno session. As you know, I decided not to do the long tube headers. It was a good thing that I decided not to do that because I'm just getting the car back now on a Thursday. There's a car show on a Sunday that I want to go to. The following week after that, there's a huge Mustang cruise that I've missed the past couple years. And I really want to go on that. If I had had the long tubes done, the car would not have been ready because it, it was just ready as of today as far as getting all the parts so it was drivable because I needed the clutch cable. On top of that, if I did the long tubes, I would need an additional dyno tune. I, it's, very, it's very doubtful that I could have gotten in between Thursday and Saturday to get that done so I could go to the car show on Sunday. And it's a big show. I don't want to miss it. Other Terminator Cobras are there from the one that I went to last year. I just don't want to miss that, and I said that I'm fine with foregoing horsepower and everything else when it comes to potentially missing out on events throughout the year and stuff like that. So I'm glad that I decided not to do that. That's part of the wintertime projects that I'm going to do. I have a whole list of stuff that I'm being done. That's for another video. I'm not getting into the whole mod list, but. It's a lot of cool stuff that I'm doing to this car to make this car much better than what it is right now. But in the end, the Cobra's back. It wasn't going too terribly long. Yes, stuff happened, but as far as delaying it, but I think when it comes to having a Project Cobra or any project car in general, it's broken down into phases as far as what you go through with the car. I kind of like to categorize everything as success, failure, Genius and insanity. Those are like the things you go through with a project car. Sometimes things go great, sometimes they don't. But I think everyone can agree with that statement of success, failure, genius, and insanity because it's a fine line between all of them. So that will conclude the video. The Cobra is back. There will be a lot more stuff with the Cobra coming up. I have to break this clutch in. I have to give you my review on the suspension, my review on the clutch, other general Cobra content, and things to look forward to for videos later on down the summer, things that I have planned that will come up in future videos. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Thanks for watching.